So, what are you supposed to do with all that conflicting information? Hopefully, some answers and help tonight from our guest, Dr. Beth Whiteside, the radiologist at the Albany Med Breast Care Center, is with us. Thank you so much for being with us, doctor. Really appreciate it because uh, this has got to just set people back a little bit. They don't aren't going to know. First, we heard it wasn't until 50. Now they're saying the baseline before that could actually save a life. What's the story here? Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm very happy that this study came out because I think it refocuses our attention and our energy where it needs to be, which is um, in making sure that women 40 and up get screened annually with mammogram. Um, you know, I think this, this study basically um, confirmed for us that when you look at women who were diagnosed with breast cancer and you follow them over a long period of time, you're going to find that uh, the majority of the women who actually die of breast cancer never had a mammogram. And if you look at the women who had a mammogram, there's a much lower death rate. So um, I think that is really in support of using mammography to help save lives. What about the idea, though, that younger women have faster growing tumors that often won't be caught in time by a mammogram? Well, we know that mammograms aren't perfect, but what this study did show is that um, some of those, you know, cancers could have could have been uh, caught early. So it just makes intuitive sense if you're doing a mammogram to find a breast cancer um, when it's small before it can be felt. Um, you're going to have a higher success of treating it successfully. And uh, there have been a lot of opponents of mammography who have said that um, really it's just treatment advances that are causing improved outcomes with breast cancer. But this study you know, it shows that that's really not the case because all of the women in the study had access to the same quali high quality of care, um, you know, the highest quality at a great academic center. And um, yet the majority of deaths were focused in the women who hadn't had the mammograms. Uh, Their right. cancers were larger and so forth, so we need to stop that. Okay, and so what would you, just to sort of cut through it all and everybody watching right now, when do you want women to get those mammograms, their, their baseline mammogram? I really advocate for getting a mammogram every year beginning at the age of 40, um, as long as a woman is in good health and would treat a breast cancer if she found it. All right, doctor, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Really, thank you. Your, thank you. your information is invaluable to many people, I'm sure. Thank you.